I've seen a bunch of good videos on the web of how the BioLite stove works, but I felt like there really wasn't a good one that talked about how it works on the inside. I borrowed this one from a friend at work and tore it apart. Um, probably shouldn't lend your new stuff to an engineer. This is what's going to happen. Um, here's the thermoelectric generator. Here's the small circuit board with the USB cable uh, connection. Um, here's the centrifugal fan, uh, which stokes the fire. And uh, here's the lithium ion power cell. Now you can see there's um, a fair number of components here that make up the stove. Based on the markings, it looks like this is the bismuth telluride thermoelectric generator that's included in the device. It has a grid of 16 by 16 little cube uh, modules between the two ceramic uh, pieces forming a sandwich. They took out two of the cubes in the corners for a place to attach the lead. So instead of 256, you got 254 uh, little modules all connected with copper strips top and bottom to create this matrix. While the fan and the fan housing are completely custom to this product, it looks like they're using an off-the-shelf uh, DC motor with sintered bronze bushings. It's a nice little DC motor targeted at the uh, hobby remote control cars and so forth. Um, it fits very snugly in its housing, but with removal of two screws, the motor can be pressed out and the fan does slide off the end of the shaft with a little encouragement. The battery inside the device is an ICR17335 3.7 volt lithium ion power cell. Uh, it's rated for a minimum of 650 milliamp hours with a maximum of 700 milliamp hours. As a backpacking stove, this thing is pretty heavy. I was curious to see where that weight came from. So I did a breakdown of the weight and the function uh, using a kitchen scale. It looks like about half the weight is the main frame and the inner chamber for the firebox. About 13% is general electronics packaging, 5% is really the fan, 24% of the weight is the thermal electric generator, uh, and then the battery and the printed circuit board round that out. As you can see from this breakdown, there's really not that many components that weigh over 100 grams. The main frame, the inner chamber, and the big aluminum heat sink are the only ones. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my take on how the BioLite stove works.